Welcome back everybody. This is our little mini Formula One car thing that we bought for way too much money and then inserted a 420 cc engine in the back. Unfortunately, last time we had a problem where the clutch wanted to be Mr. Slippy. I ordered another clutch, he wanted to be Slippy too. Only one solution. Also, you're not gonna wanna miss the ending because it's awesome. I ended up buying most of a CVT setup. This is essentially like a snowmobile style setup. A snowmobile style setup. As you increase speed, this drive actually gets bigger and this drive actually gets smaller. So it does help convert the torque a lot better. And this one's rated for 18 horsepower. Our engine is only 13 horsepower, so we should be in the clear. The only thing is we don't have the backing plate for this thing. So we're gonna have to make a custom setup. The problem arises in this area right here. We built this specific setup around this style of clutch, which means we don't really have the room necessary to put this style clutch on there. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to put the primary and the secondary clutch somewhere and run a chain to the axle all on this little package on the side. It's definitely gonna involve cutting out this bar right here and building another piece. And while we're in there, we'll build a wing. Who let me fill it with this much dirt on it? Dang, who knew it looked so much better cleaned up like that? If you ponder about it too much, you'll never get anything done. So we'll be able to figure out our clutch situation in two days when our jack shaft comes in, but this thing needed a wing really bad. And someone had given us one of these and it just, it looks like it won't be a functional wing, but I feel like these pieces are gonna make a great wing. So let me just tear this thing apart and see what we can come up with. Now with this wing, I'm not too concerned about the functionality of it. I'm more concerned about how it looks. It has to be badass. It's actually a decent piece of aluminum right there. Oh yeah. So we've got our potential wing here. I just ground down the metal here. We're going to build a piece of metal plate, rib nut it to this piece, and then, and then we made this piece to weld to the back there, and then it'll get welded on to that piece. Really, it's extra leverage if it does make any downforce. There we go. Just tack weld it on the bottom down here. Um, if we do need to make any adjustments on it. And that's how big it is from the back. I mean, once you sit in there, it's probably like the same height as my head, so. Possibly lower. Yeah, possibly lower than my head. So, if anything, it's good for when you flip it over. It's like a roll bar. Roll bar. Yeah. Look at it, though. Belongs on there. This body really needs like an extra little panel now to go back. I guess I missed the part where we made the end plates. And just like the 80s, we got our cigarette sponsor on the back. Oh look, Slippy number two. Wow, for whatever reason, my order from Princess Auto came a day early, which is not like them because my order from before this one didn't show up at all. But we've got our axle, bearings, sprocket. Let's try and hook up this torque converter. Now, for whatever reason, the drive is one inch and the driven is three quarters of an inch. The hardest part about this is going to be making the bearing on this side held up. So we've got to figure out a way to mount this bearing to this piece right here. I'm looking at flat plate and just not sure how I want to do it, but this is probably the best place for the torque converter. So all I did was build a stand off of this piece right here up to here. We're gonna have to support this somehow, whether it be a pipe from here to here or something 
bracing it. And we still have to make a pipe that goes from here down to this bar somewhere too, just to reinforce this area. But we just gotta build the bearing on the other side there. And I think that's gonna work. And we can even keep our sprocket on this side, which is equally as awesome. So build a stand on the other side. That one comes straight up from over there. Um, put the bearing on it and should be good to go. And we're left with something essentially like this. This side needs to be ground down just a slight bit because it's tipped up on that side. Might be a little bit on the tight side here, but uh, it's all the way slack. But I mean, those belts wear out, so maybe. Oh yeah, check it boys. So basically here's our setup. It comes from the drive to the jack shaft, the jack shaft to the main shaft. The chain is a little bit loose on this main shaft and I have to figure out a way to tighten that up. But just for now, we're gonna see if it will run and uh, drive everything we need it to drive. bolting down the bearing pile and the chain being extremely loose right here and hitting the uh oh i wonder if this is separating this way and that's what it's hitting we may end up having to put this chain and sprocket on this side but then that leaves nowhere for a break doesn't steer at all. <laughs> Once again, we built something that uh, is underbuilt on the brakes. I feel like the clutch is grabbing a little bit, which probably means this belt is a little bit on the tight side, which I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because it didn't account for <laughs> any more slack going this way. I might have to like oval out these holes just a little bit. Wow, that thing is way too fast for what it is. I think I have a couple issues that I have to sort through again. One, we underbuilt the brake system once again for how fast this thing is. Two, it doesn't steer like at all. I don't know if it's just the combination of the wet tires on the wet ground, but it doesn't want to steer at all. It might need some like wider, bigger front tires just to like have something to grab into. Uh, the next thing is I think our uh, clutch drive here is actually hitting our chain and then our chain is really loose. So I think what I might have to do is move that chain either uh, to this side where the brake is currently, if it will fit, which it doesn't look like it's gonna fit, or I don't know, do something with it because it, it can't belong there because I, I have no way to tension it in here. It's too close to this clutch drive. Overall, it looks so badass and that's what I was going for. I think it looks amazing the way it is, especially considering what it used to look like in this video. It's just a whole nother level and I love it. So I believe I need like a locking collar on this converter so it doesn't move this way. Cause I think these are bolted up solid and then they are supposed to spread out that way. 
What I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna flip this uh, sprocket over so this rides on the clutch side so the sprocket can't physically move into the chain anymore. Just kind of listening to music today and winging it. All we did was literally take the piece that we cut out of the back side of the frame over there that already had the tensioner on it and just notched it and welded it on the bottom and it basically fits perfectly there. So we've got that part done. We've got the clutch hopefully not hitting the chain anymore. We should be able to test ride this thing again if it doesn't try and kill us. push home like a shopping cart and it's pretty tough actually I can like Whee! might as well put the lawn mower in too I wish it wasn't so cold out all right so high speed turning works low speed it just wants to push through the front tires obviously there's probably a little bit of setup that we can do to make that a little bit better. But overall, look at this thing. We ripped out this monstrosity that was in there with the electric motor, put a proper engine in here. We got a nice wing on it. It has visually a nice look. It ended up going 62 kilometers an hour. I'll put the conversion right here. And that is a completely bone stock 390. No upgrades, the governor's still on it. This thing has so much potential to be so much scarier. But the fact that we made it what it is, fairly simple. This whole contraption actually fills out the space really nicely. If we had like this tied in with a little bit more fiberglass matching the same color or rewrapping this uh, body thing, which still needs to be mounted, I think it'll look a lot better. I think what we're gonna do next, we're gonna take that CBR 125 engine, we're gonna build a little bit bigger scale of the cart we just built, full tube chassis, my own design, and we're gonna make it handle better, we're gonna make it faster, it's gonna be more enjoyable, and it's just gonna look better. It's gonna be a tiny bit bigger, we're gonna add suspension, and honestly, that's just gonna give me the confidence to make me wanna build a Formula 1000 style car, so we're gonna use our CBR 1000 engine we have down here, bit bigger scale than that, and we're just gonna try and make something that's super fast that we can track drive, and I think that's how I wanna spend my winter, 
And that's what's gonna give me the most enjoyment um, bundled up here in the winter time. Make sure you like the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you missed the previous video, I'll put it right here. Peace easy, get that V. <laughs>